Okay, today is the day. After years and years of ducking and dodging hurricanes, the Forbes are finally evacuating. Um, today is August 28th. It is Saturday morning at three o'clock in the morning. Say hey to the vlog. I'm saying vlog. This we pumped it y'all last year. Mm -hmm. We getting a body here this year. All right, so shoes, snacks, important documents, overnight bag, couple of purses that I love, Jonathan's bag, random stuff like my computer, tripod, and school book bag. Um, my actual purse that I'm wearing. And and last me snacks. And that's it. That's all we bring. I mean, it's mine. It's mine. It's my charger. It's my charger. Okay. Two people. Amazing. <gasps> what happened? I wonder what that is. Let me see. Uh, it's probably some type of oxidation or some shit. You probably could get that off with like ball keepers or something. Yeah. I know. I don't even know how my steering wheel feel like. Without nothing on it, it's weird. It is currently 3:37 in the morning. 3:38. 3:38. I just had day job boot too. That's crazy. You mean we supposed to be doing? Oh yeah. I'll be back, fellas. I hope be back. What you mean? You got that? You want me to go inside and get your charger? I mean, I could, I could lose it with this, this shit. I don't have this thing to people. I'm gonna hold the bottom while you pull the top. Around. <clears throat> Plus, I got nails on this one. Make it better. <clears throat> Niggas gonna be fancy and change out the goddamn. Every every time I do this, you have an attitude about it. Because you be having one on there already. So it get dirty. <laughs> I gotta show the, show, show, show the people what you just swapped. Black one, and I had a gray one. What you want to bring that And inside? my gray one is dusty. Yep, you can bring it inside. So I got a new black one that's furry and cute, and I like furry steering wheels. And anybody who has a problem with my furry steering wheels can kiss my butt. And my car is blue right now. What color we thinking for the ride? I was feeling the blue, but that purple do something. Like, let me see when it start. That purple be smacking. That red look weird. But that blue look good too. So I think we're gonna keep it at a a nice icy blue. You feel me? It's 3.39. Alright, so what made us decide to go? I have always said since probably Katrina that if it was a category, anything over category three. I'm out um, because I'm not worried about flooding because where we live, I'm pretty much out of a flood zone. I, but where we live, even if the wind blows too hard, the lights go out. Now, a lot of people in my neighborhood and surrounding areas, they have generators and we don't have one of those yet. Um, also, I'm blessed and financially able to leave if I want to leave. So, I would rather not be sitting in a hot house with um, no AC for days on end. So, I decided to be out. And he was with it. So, oh God, he's so aggressive. My door did you something? My door did you something? My door did you something. This is not a couple. Every I time you put it there, cause you asked me to go inside. I mean, you—that was your second drink you put right there. And you moved it right there. And I moved that one right there. No, I moved that one over there. And right. And, and then you and put I another cleared, drink right I cleared here. this out so I can put that right there. Do you have any other chargers? Any other thing you need me to put up and put away? That's yours. I don't know what that's for. One thing about a hurricane, it tests your relationship. Make you wonder if you really like the person or not. Look at him with this damn thing on his head. She talking that talk. What's up? COVID. Quarantine. 
I like you and boo. You know what I'm saying? But both of those things make you touch your relationship. Alarm. Lockdown. House. You feel me? All right, we are about to go get some cash. How much cash? You got? I got a hundred on me. Yeah, we're gonna get some more cash. We're gonna get some cash because you never know we need cash. Um, and we're going to get gas, and then we on Houston. Here we come. Okay, we have made it to Texas. It is 8 a.m. I took a nap. Jonathan took a um. Jonathan took a nap first, and I drove. So I drove first for about two hours, two and a half. I know I got caught in some bad, horrible traffic, but it was an accident. And then after that, I got sleepy. Like I was like sleepy. So then Jonathan drove for like two hours. she ride out every storm the last hurricane her neighbor's roof came off like the whole roof came off the house what do you do then you gotta invite your neighbors to come because you can't sit there and watch them standing like this in the house why it's like a hurricane like, you know and where we live i think our house will be straight i'm just more concerned with the lights going out and we got food not oh i say who blowing we got food, not a lot of food, but like, um, normally I can knock out five hour ride, no problem, but we, I forgot to mention, we doing this all complete, no sleep, like, woke up for work yesterday morning at eight, and took an hour nap before, we, I took an hour nap before we got on the road, Jonathan took an hour nap, like two hour nap, while I was working, like at around like, Two o'clock yesterday evening, so we both like out here riding off of no sleep. So hour and a half left, straight shots, no traffic looking like so far. I'm on a highway in Bridge City. Um, I just follow my phone's route on with the take. So that's the best thing I could do. Hello, we made it. We at 
we're at our hotel. I won't tell y'all which one because that ain't y'all business. That ain't y'all business. We just parked the car and now we are about to get our stuff together. And we got a lot of stuff. So room tour, this is the door. And that's the hall leading into the room, so pretty. This is the bathroom, Jonathan is in there, so I'll show y'all that later. This is the closet, decent size for one person, with safe, gotta have a safe. Nice big mirror, love, okay, cute bedroom area. And this is, this is the TV area. This is the desk with all of our belongings on it. And me. Then this is the big window with a nice little lounge chair. And a little view out there. How you feel about the room? Oh, I like it. My very mom picked it out. Very spacious. Very spacious. Something, I guess, was right here, but now it's gone. I guess that was like a COVID thing. Another thing, like when I go to hotels, I have to look in the drawers. I don't know why, like, but I want to see. The bathroom is very plush, very cute, very self-care giving. Nice little robe for me, period. Tub, tub is not, it's, it's, it's mid, but the shower though, rain shower, yes. This was a little too spicy for me. But these, this fried fish though. And my mimosa are really good. Yeah, the chef busting, baby. The chef busting. We just came from eating brunch. We're about to go walk in the mall. I don't think we're gonna buy anything, but I'm just gonna walk and see what they got in the um Jonathan's never been to Texas. Well, he's never been to Houston, Texas. So he's never been to the Galleria. I'm gonna take it to see one of the best malls. We just went to the gas station and we found this. They don't have this in New Orleans. Oh my god. All we got is these. It's a super size bag. At the end of the day, I got him and he got me. And we right here. My full lifer. And as long as me and him right here, my mama here, my brother here, my sister is in school. She's straight. She ain't even worried about no damn hurricane. My other sister and my grandmother, they're not here. They're in New Orleans, but they're with people that I know are going to make sure they're okay. And, I mean, other than that, there was nothing else I could do. I think all of that matters, you know? But, yeah. All right, so now we're going to the mall. We're going to have us some fun because I ain't sitting in no hotel being depressed. Yeah, you look coming. Alright, it is, what is today? The 30th. The 30th, today is the 30th. It's been, I'm gonna say, two or, th two or three days since we updated y'all. Last time we updated y'all, we was having fun. Well, yesterday, no, not yesterday. Was it yesterday? When was the last time we updated y'all? I have no idea, it's been, we done had a long week. Nah, that's in the last like 24 hours. Was okay. yesterday? When we uh when we when in I went brunch. With the seeds. Okay. You might have updated them at brunch. I didn't think you did. Alright, so after all of that fun that we had yesterday, we went brunch, went to Target, went um what else we went yesterday? We went ate dinner. What we ate at? Uh Benny Oh yeah, we went to Benny Hanna's. I got on Twitter. And this girl post um, an address on Twitter saying that her family needed rescue. Um, and it was a lot of these different posts saying that these people needed rescue. All in my same neighborhoods, in our area of Louisiana and y'all. What's wrong? Don't ignore and yes, my, don't ignore my hotel room. It looks depressing because I was depressed all day today. 
So Twitter, the girl posted the tweet. I looked up the address. It was literally 20 minutes walking distance from my house, three minutes driving dis distance. Like it was like the next couple of streets over in another part of the neighborhood, but it was the same street. And I like my stomach fell in my ass. Okay, so y'all, I lived in New Orleans East when Hurricane Katrina hit. We had 10 and a half feet of water in our townhouse home. We left for vacation. My grandmother's birthday is August 27th. My dad's birthday is August 31st, which is actually tomorrow. So we were on vacation. We had nothing, no clue, no idea a storm was coming. For Hurricane Katrina, we had swimsuits and that's it. And I walked out of my house on vacation and didn't go back into my house until the next year, like four months later, and everything we knew and loved was gone. So imagine my old 27, I'm 27 years old, mm -hmm. 27 year old mind frame of an adult going through this all over again yesterday. All day today, I was completely withdrawn from life. Like, I, I wasn't sad. I wasn't angry. I was just in a state of, I didn't know, I don't know. Like, I was just like, what? So all we could do is just do. So we called, filed claims, called FEMA. Like, we got every, all the paperwork stuff done. But the process that, processing that our house may be gone after we've only been in our house for a year, All right, so then, thank you to Laron and Josh. They drove around, they called my mom, they sent my mom pictures and they said we had no water damage, just our roof is kinda tore up, I ain't gonna lie. Our fence fell, but y'all we ain't got no water damage. We ain't got no water damage. We got a house to go home to. I am so excited. Because I really thought I was about to be homeless. I mean, I wasn't going to be homeless. Both our parents was like, y'all got somewhere to live. Y'all can come and live with us. But we want our house, man. We worked all over the house. So, it's cool. We back in business. We back in business. Our house is straight. Um, we'll show y'all when we first walk in. Whenever the heck that's going to be. But for right now, <laughs> we're in Houston, Texas. I'm about to live it up. We about to live it up because it's my daddy's birthday. We thought we ain't had nothing. We thought we ain't had nothing. But we got everything. But we got it all. So I'm about to go get some drink. I used to have nothing. <laughs> but now I got a whole lot of everything. And when I come through stunting. And I the whole world don't know my name. Now I'll get drunk with my dad. It's his birthday. Um, shout out to Mylon, happy birthday Mylon. Shout out to Loren, happy birthday Loren. Shout out to my pa, happy birthday to Dooney. All y'all August 31st people, except for Lo. Lo, Lo, Lo wasn't even born yet when Hurricane Katrina happened, but, um, shout out to Mylon and my daddy. Y'all going through this again on y'all birthday. This is the worst. And Mylon is in New Orleans right now, sitting in a dog downtown. <laughs> but... Yeah, now we about to go get drunk and have a good time. And we'll let y'all know when we going home. Peace. All right, current state of the room. It's a mess. It's just a mess. Everything everywhere. So I'm about to clean up while he is doing his thing. Say hi, bub. What's down, y'all? Happy birthday, Lullaby. Thank you. <laughs>